This year was the first year I've ever grown the Aunt Ruby's German Green, so I was a little bit uh, worried that I wouldn't be able to tell when they were ripe. But uh, now that I've picked a few and eaten a few, I have a better feel for it. So let me show you what I've been going by. This is one I just picked. They get just a hint of color, a uh, little bit of yellow. Some of them will even have just a hint of pink. But I pick them like this. Uh, they've got the green shoulder. And then as, as they ripen, this uh, green shoulder, well, that green color will start to extend towards the bottom of the tomato and almost create a striping effect. This is one that I picked two days ago. It's a really big one that some of them get quite large. And this one is ready to eat. And I think we'll probably be slicing this one up today. And you can probably see, I'm hoping you can see right, right in here, it's getting just a little bit of pink now. And that's after a couple of days on the counter. So I'll put this one inside on the counter and in a couple of days this one should be ready to eat. And one thing I'm liking about these is they don't get much cracking, maybe just a little bit but not much. But they've been tasting real good to us. We ate a BLT last night with uh, one sliced up on it and it was really good. But I just wanted to do this video. I've done videos on other tomatoes that are kind of hard to tell when they ripen and I thought this might help a few folks because um, some tomatoes are just kind of hard to tell if you've never grown them before. Uh, like the Lucid Gem I grew last year and Indigo Rose I grew a while back. Uh, some folks have thought those videos that I did on those were helpful, so I just wanted to do one on this and hopefully help a few folks along the way. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. This is a look at our, how our garden is doing today on July 10th. We'll see you next time.